Hey guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome to my adolescent psychology vlog. Today I will be reviewing 16 Candles, so let's take a look at it. So the movie was released in 1984 and it is based around a girl named Samantha Baker, um, who goes by Sam, and her birthday is completely forgotten and it's actually her 16th birthday. So she was thinking that it would be this big whole deal and that her family would throw a party for her or when she woke up in the morning she would receive like a grand breakfast but instead her family had completely forgotten about her 16th birthday because her sister's wedding is the next day um she falls in love with the senior jake ryan um, while she also has a freshman named farmer ted um, who is constantly hitting on her and is always on her case and from there it's just a whirlwind of her wanting to be with jake ryan and Farmer Ted tells her that Jake Ryan's interested in her and Farmer Ted also tells Jake Ryan that she's interested in him and so it's a lot of back and forth controversy of finding out what's true and what's not um, and also trying to deal with the fact that her parents had forgotten her 16th birthday. Um, Samantha Baker is a sophomore 16 year old girl. She's a short haired redhead who's tall and slim. Um, she kind of has a good head on her shoulders. Her parents brought her up right. Um, Jake Ryan is your typical popular senior boy that every girl is in love with at the high school. He's athletic, he's good looking, broad shoulders. And then you have Farmer Ted who is your geeky freshman. He's really, really skinny and scrawny has braces on, curly blonde hair, has the acne on the face, um, your typical geeky freshman, I guess you could say, that's particularly takes in movies like this one. <laughs> Score a direct hit. 16 Candles. You say it's your birthday. It's my mother too. The story of a girl who's stuck with a guy who's driving her crazy. Babe. And stuck on a guy she's crazy about. Who's Jake? Jake Ryan? Jake's my boy! Jake is a senior, and he's beautiful and perfect. He doesn't even know you exist. He smiles at me and I don't say anything. I can't believe I'm such a jerk. You quit feeling sorry for yourself. It's bad for your complexion! Do you know Samantha Baker? Catch her looking at me a lot. It's kind of cool the way she's always looking at me. Maybe she's retarded. <laughs> What's happening, the hot stuff? His name is Long Duck Dong. Nothing could shock me anymore. Underpants. Can I borrow your underpants for ten minutes? Girls underpants. Hate that rock and roll rubbish. Everybody in this family has just gone totally out of limits. Guys, you just gotta be cool. You just gotta chill out and just be cool. Just watch me. <laughs> Why, you little scuzzbag. I'll let you take Carolyn home. She's so blitz, she won't know the difference. Jake, I don't have a car. You can take mine. I gotta get out of here before anything else terrible happens. She's stuck between a half-wit. Very hot, very hot. And a heartbreaker. I want a serious girlfriend, somebody I can love. It's gonna love me back. Pretty intense, huh? Over. Everyone she knows is either on her case. You know you're the one I wanna buy, huh? Or out of their tree. Monday! It only happens once in a lifetime. This has got to be a joke. And once is enough. Happy birthday, Samantha. This is getting good. 16 candles. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to talk about is the cognitive stage of development. Um, in Sternberg's triarsic theory, which I might have butchered that, um, he talks about different types of intelligence. And so I put Sam down as contextual intelligence, which is where you think practically. Um, I believe that she is in this category because there's a scene in the movie where um, the next day that her sister is getting married, which is the day after Sam's birthday, 
her mom comes up to her and apologizes, you know, tearful, sincere um, apology for forgetting her daughter's 16th birthday. And right off the bat, Sam says, it's okay, like, I know you didn't mean to. Um, and so, like, this shows that even though it was hurt for, hurtful for her mother to forget her birthday, well, her whole family to forget her birthday, she understood that there was a lot of stress coming from the wedding with it being the next day that she knew that even though they had forgotten that her parents still cared in love for her. For Jake, I put him down as experimental intelligence, which is using insight and creativity. The reason I gave him this was because he quickly learned throughout the whole movie that he could get intel from Farmer Ted, who was the freshman. Um, he knew that he could always go to him to get like an inside word about Sam Baker and whether or not she could be a potential like girlfriend, what um, her likes and dislikes were, if she was actu actually interested in Jake for who he was. For Farmer Ted, I gave him confidential intelligence, which is where you acquire, store, and process information that's given to you. Um, you know, so he is portrayed as a geek, so naturally I would just assume that he is smart. Um, his clique that he hangs out with, they're all very smart brainiacs as well. Uh, but Farmer Ted quickly learned, there's a scene where he first runs into Jake, and he finds out that... Um, Jake has an interest in Sam, and so he's able to quickly process that without even um, Jake having to say much of anything at all. And then there's another scene where Jake and Ted sit down at a party, well, after a party, and he's able to know right from the back that Jake has like an actual honest... Um, interest in Sam Baker and so he is knows that if he were to dick around with Jake and lie to him that he would get his ass beat so he's able to think of think ahead of everything as well um, knowing that Jake is interested in Sam if Ted were to lie to Jake about Sam um, being interested in Jake when she's really not he would know that he would get his ass beat so he's able to think of every step that goes into the whole process. So there are also just a couple other things that I want to talk about for the cognitive developmental stage. Um, there was a section in our class material that Piggy talks about adaptation, um, which is a person um, where they have environmental interactions. Um, there were two sections to it, which was accommodate and assimilate. Um, Jake, there's a scene with Jake actually, where he is talking to one of his guy friends named Rock. Mm -hmm. And I thought that his friend Rock was assimilate and Jake was accommodate because they are talking about in the scene girls. And Jake had asked Rock if he had known anything about Sam Baker. And Rock goes who and he's like who are you talking about like what girl and he's like why like does it matter like you have Caroline who's like the popular girl that dates the popular guy and he's like she's hot like why does it matter Sam's ugly and then Jake is able to accommodate to things and be like well I'm not looking just for looks even though he thinks Sam is pretty um He's like, I want more than just looks, like I want the knowledge and just more to it than what meets the eye. And so I thought he fits in the adaptation section as well.